I'm Mark Wethington with the J.C. Ralston Arboretum at NC State University. I'm on Homegrown in the Garden. Today we're talking about one of my favorite spring perennials, downy phlox. Downy phlox is a, a native plant to the eastern United States. It grows in open woodlands and in meadows and, and uh, Piedmont prairies where it can spread and form really nice covers of uh, pale pink flowers that fade to almost pure white, giving a somewhat of a mosaic of, of kind of uh, pastel colors in the garden. Now I wish you could be here with me right now because the fragrance on downy phlox is so incredible. I feel like I'm floating in a cloud of perfume right now while I'm sitting here. Downy phlox will, will just flower in the spring, but it makes such an incredible show when it does that it really becomes the star of the garden for about three weeks or so. Once it finishes flowering, I like to go through and I'll just cut off all the tops and, uh, and get rid of that and then just have really nice kind of grassy green foliage for the rest of the season. Now a couple nice things about, about downy phlox is uh, one, unlike some other garden phloxes, it doesn't get powdery mildew. So you don't have to worry about that in the garden. Two, it will spread if it's happy. You can see I've got a big patch of it here. It's very happy in our garden. And so it can take up a good bit of space and provide a big impact you know, in just a few years after planting a handful of plants. It doesn't get a lot of pests. I have seen deer nibble on it, but they'll usually try to go for other plants before this. I have occasionally seen rabbits uh, nip on the stems, but they usually seem to be just trying it out and seeing what it, what it tastes like. I haven't really seen them be a big problem with it. And as for insects, not a problem. The insects that do like it, though, are ones you want in the garden. It is loved by uh, a lot of butterflies and moths and skippers and those type of pollinators. So um, you can get just, just all kinds of, of really beautiful uh, flying uh, 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 butterflies and things um, hovering over this and getting the nectar out of these long tubular flowers. Once it's established, it's drought tolerant like many prairie plants are. Uh, doesn't take a lot of care. It doesn't need a lot of fertilizer, so moderately rich soils, which many of our soils here in North Carolina are naturally, are about all you need. My feeling with it is you plant it, you let it go, and let it kind of weave around your other plants and really become kind of a, a carpet underneath some taller growing things in the garden. So I'm Mark at the J.C. Ralston Arboretum. This has been Homegrown in the Garden.